There was one strip joint where like you would go in and you just play pool. There's no yeah. fucking need. Can I swear? I forgot to ask you yeah. if I can swear. It's the internet. Oh shit. Okay, fuck. <laughs> so this one there was masturbate right now. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> only if you get to give me a hand job. That's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find a volunteer. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Stu is crazy. I like Stu. You are fucking nuts. But a good nuts, not a bad nuts. Like fucking like a soldier that you yeah, know. You just run through the streets naked and just do wild shit. Like Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Deer Hunter? <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah, man. And he's Running down the street naked. I'm now, uh, not ready to go naked hey, yet, though. Just, just for our listeners to be filled in, you do some stand up comedy. Yes, in, in Toronto. Right? Yeah. And Ontario. In Ontario. Apparently. Ontario. Edmonton, I think. Canada. Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada and America at one point. Are you gonna do America? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try <laughs> America hey. if I can. But I can't go back because of the border. I got fucked up at the border. Cause they got a possession of narcotics. They uh, they caught. They, I think they planted the weed in my mom's car. Cause I was just going across, and then they brought me in to the interrogation room. I mean, I went with a Spanish friend of mine, and I told him like, Yo, I know you smoke a lot of weed, but empty your pockets. So I emptied his pockets before we crossed the border. Cross the border, they bring us in, they interrogate us separately. They bring me in, and they like put me against the wall, and they're like, uh, We just found this marijuana here on you. And I was like, What the fuck? I don't smoke weed anymore. And they're like, What? I'm like, It's my mom's car. A, my mom's like a 60 year old Middle Eastern woman. She's not pushing weed. I'm like, I would. Americans, they're fascists. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now I got a narcotics charge. It's sad as shit. And I even, I even make money off of it. Now it's in the computer. There's that in my dick jokes. They caught me with my joke book. So if you pull up the screen, it has dick jokes and marijuana trafficking. Very good. Very good. What's up? Pretty cool. So like you've done like pretty a lot of shows around around Toronto. Yes. And you you were off in Edmonton like like a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was how was playing rooms in like some of those butt fuck towns in Edmonton? Uh, a lot of native jokes, like honestly. <laughs> like they just pull you to the side. The thing about it is like they like even if like after you get drunk with them, like it's like mostly like rednecks and oil riggers. They mm. don't give a fuck. They forget even if they are racist, they kinda of forget to hate on you. Like yeah. it's like you just you just for that night they're cool with you, right? And like yeah. there's a lot of native jokes. They'll pull you to the side and they're like, Hey, what's a good native? I'm like, I don't know, and like a dead one. I'm like, You can use <laughs> oh. that. Like, I'm not and they're the workers. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I've heard them all because I work in construction for a few years. Oh, they're, they're nuts. Yeah, yeah. One guy told me, he goes, uh, I don't fucking like when Sudanis and Pakis come to my town and take my job. I go, you live in Worsley. No one's come. No Sudan <laughs> is waking out of his fucking bed and like, that is the place I want to be is Worsley, Canada. No one gives a fuck. And they're just like, but they're so blatantly racist that it's just, yeah. you can't say shit. Unless if I were to say something, I'm going to get killed. By Mostly it. ignorant. Right? It's like, yeah, they don't it, know. It really is. They always give you that look of like, what? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> it's human nature to be afraid of what you don't know. Exactly. So it was fun, I guess. For An intelligent human what they don't know, they try to learn about it. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So they then don't. they know. I think they just watch TV and it, even they just like they're like they just take pick up what's on TV, right? Yeah. If they're like, oh, yeah. you know, black people rap and that's that's about it and play basketball and then they just take <laughs> that information and they carry it for the rest of their lives and they're like they're just baffled if that doesn't happen. They're like, well, you play tennis? That's that's just not fair. It's not what I know. It's not what I know. The stereotype chart doesn't show that, right? They just kind of like. They hold on to that, and it's fucked. I wonder if people in the period get get, get jealous of the rest Canadians because they can't toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got great conditions for snowshoeing. But you know? the best part about the whole trip was one guy asked me after the show, he goes, hey, come here, I got a serious question for you. He goes, would you fuck your mom? I go, uh, I don't know. He goes, well, no, 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 look, imagine if she was hot. Like, back in the day, like, your young mom, would you fuck her? And I go, I don't know, because I'm like, I guess I'll appease him. I'm like, I guess. And he goes, okay, good. Like, there was no joke. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was that, okay, good. And I was like, wow, okay, I guess I banged my mom. <laughs> It's so weird. He's oh like, good. I just okay. You can go now. I'm like, what, why are you collecting that information? That was weird. <laughs> Take it from me. Use a condom. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 you 
you probably <laughs> fucked your mom and your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a threesome. Letting <laughs> that be getting drunk. What's an idea God. for Sylvester Daniels' new show? Threesome. <laughs> Mom, dad, and son. This is You're right. Get the pilot happening. <laughs>